In this first section, we're going to talk about the beliefs and philosophy that are the foundation of person-centered planning. What do you think of when you hear person-centered planning? Let's take a quick poll. How many of you think that person-centered planning is, number one, just another name for treatment planning? What about number two? Person-centered planning is something else the staff will ask me to do. How many people think of person-centered planning as, number three, getting support for choosing and achieving what I want in life? Or does it mean something else to you? In some ways, all the answers are correct. Person-centered planning is another kind of treatment planning, and you may be invited to do person-centered planning, but it should always be a choice. And it does come from mental health service providers that recognize how important it is for people like us to have real and meaningful choices to live the life that we want. Person-centered planning is based on the belief that every one of us, given the right supports, can decide what is important on our journey from one part of life to another. Person-centered planning believes that people can and do choose what path to take and map out our own life the way we want it as individuals, not based on our diagnosis or our role as a, quote, mental patient. Recovery is real. Person-centered planning is a specific way of doing treatment planning that includes and empowers us, the people who use services. It is a celebration of recovery. People using services are active participants and lead person-centered planning toward their goals. As the name says, each of us is at the center of our own plan and works with our support team. It is a collaboration between people. In person-centered planning, no one is told what they should do or what they are capable of doing or what their life has to look like. A person-centered planning approach aims to bring people together who hold these beliefs in self-determination and who will support us to lead our own lives. Person-centered planning is a fundamental change in planning based on lessons learned from many years of human service work with many kinds of people. Person-centered planning values life planning over treatment planning, the person over the illness, and freedom of choice over forced treatment and coercion. Person-centered planning is part of a human service system that is entering its own recovery process. For many years, even though people working in the mental health system meant well, services often created unwellness. Mental health treatment would start only after our difficulties, disappointments, and traumas had caused distress and we finally felt desperate enough to go for help. Even today, this is often the case. Immediately, in order to allow for payment, our distress is given a psychiatric diagnosis, making it an illness or a disease. To get any further assistance, especially financial benefits to get over the crisis, we must prove and look as though we cannot manage our daily life, that we are disabled and dysfunctional. And this D-list that is entirely negative hangs over our head like a black cloud. People begin to take on the identity of a diseased, disabled, and dysfunctional person and lose our power and control, becoming helpless in our lives, while experts and professionals tell us what we must do and must not do. Over time, we can become overwhelmed, hopeless, and demoralized, and the cloud gets darker and darker. We become totally defeated with little sense of the value of our life. In short, the person that we are disappears. As it became clear how vital and important personal choice, freedom, and hope are to the quality of human life and to successful services, 
mental health programs began changing in that direction. Discussions over many years between people who control funding and policies, people using services, and those who have used services in the past, mental health providers, and people from other human service systems led to what is now called person-centered planning in the Massachusetts mental health system. It is a shift from a system that tells us what to do to a system that supports us to be the drivers of our own recovery. But it is much more than that. Person-centered planning is a change in how people using services are seen and a new understanding of how recovery happens. It is a matter of shifting from the D-list to the A-list, where the wholeness of a person is the focus. The A-list is based on strengths rather than on what is missing. It starts from the most important thing to know and recognize, that even in the moments of our greatest distress, each and every one of us is a person first. And that person has assets strengths and valuable traits and characteristics just as we are and abilities in moments of distress it's easy to forget and difficult to remember what we are capable of but we and the people who work with us should always strive to keep our abilities fresh in our minds we all have achievements too successes that get ignored and forgotten easily in difficult times. When we and the people who work with us stay alert and aware of what strengths we bring and the value of who we are, especially during emotional distress, we create respectful, appreciative relationships with each other. Being aware of the A-list, despite pressure from the Ds, makes us stronger and more confident about our power to be well. It completely changes the conversation between us and our mental health providers, and we feel empowered. As we remember our own abilities and achievements, we are also reminded of our authentic whole self, the person we have always been deep down. This real self is who, why, and what makes up each one of us. Instead of being defeated by the focus on what we can't do, we begin to feel better about ourselves as we see our lives as a whole and based in real strength. As we gain courage and confidence, we are more able to advocate for ourselves, to communicate what we want in life. We take action and we take control over ourselves and the world around us in order to meet our needs. We take a stronger role in our life because we have the power of hope each day that we see our worth and value. Over time, we find we are standing in a new place, more aware of our strengths and of how to use them when we are distressed. We are more and more able to respond and be responsible for our decisions and direction in life. We are better able to work with other people who support our recovery. The A-list perspective supports us and the people we work with to focus on the life we want to create. Person-centered planning is an important philosophy and a set of healthcare planning practices that help us realize the incredible power we each have to lead a meaningful life, even in the worst of circumstances. Person-centered planning moves us away from a system that focuses on the negative D-list and allows everyone else to choose for us. It is a planning process that focuses on what we want and brings people and resources together to help us get there. In the end, person-centered planning should support you to get what you need at a pace that works for you.